Hello, this is Chaudhary Mahmood Anwar. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to tell you what is Meta Theory. We have observed that most of the people have no idea about Meta Theory. Here is an instance. This is a snapshot of a part of a PhD thesis evaluated by a professor. And he highlighted this Meta Theory. You can see that it's mentioned that self-determination theory is a well-researched and practiced meta theory of motivation and personality development. But he highlighted this meta theory because he was not able to understand what does meta theory mean or what is meta theory or self-determination theory is a meta theory. So he thought that meta theory is written here in this para by mistake. So he thought that meta theory is nothing or mentioned here by mistake. So this is just for an instance to let you know that most of the people who are even evaluating the PhD dissertations or thesis are not able to understand meta theory. So in this lecture, I will guide you and exemplify to let you understand what meta theory is. First of all, try to understand that what is meta theory? The definition is a meta theory is a theory whose subject matter is some other theory or theories. For instance, you have a theory and you find that the subject matter of that theory is adopted from one theory or multiple theories or the subject matter is a fusion of some theories, then it would be a meta theory. So I think now you have got the idea that what is meta theory. I will repeat it again that if the subject matter of theory is another theory or theories, then the theory will be known as meta theory. Now I will explicate the concept of meta theory with an example and the example is self-determination theory. So everyone working in the area of organization, personality and psychology knows what is self-determination theory. But I will explain it because through this example, I'll tell you how to assimilate the concept of meta theory. Just see, this is the self-determination theory and it was proposed by Desai and Royan in 2000. The theory states that the fulfillment of the basic needs of competence, autonomy and relatedness are essential for the facilitation of self-determined motivation, social development and personal well-being. So we can depict this statement as the self-determination theory focus on competence which is need to be effective in the dealing with environment. Autonomy which is need to control the course of their lives and the relatedness which is need to have a close affectionate relationship with others. According to self-determination theory, there are three type of needs, competence, autonomy, and relatedness. These needs should be fulfilled for humans or employees to get motivated. So again, listen it. Self-determination theory is a meta theory of human motivation and personality development. It is thought of as a meta theory in the sense that it is made up of several mini theories which fuse together to offer a comprehensive understanding of human motivation and functioning. This is very important to understand that many theories fuse together. So what is the meaning as I told you earlier that the theory whose subject matter is some other theories or other theories. So now you came to know that self-determination theory is a fusion of some mini theories. Therefore, it is called a meta theory. Now, I'll tell that uh, those mini theories, self-determination theory is based on R6. Number one, cognitive evolution theory. Number two, organismic integration theory. Number three, causality orientation theory. Number four, basic psychological needs theory. Number five, goal contents theory. Number six, relationship motivation theory. Here is the brief description of these mini theories. You can see that cognitive evolution theory deals with intrinsic motivation. Organismic integration theory addresses the extrinsic motivation. 
Causality orientation theory describes individual differences. Psychological needs theory elaborate the concept of psychological needs. Goal content theory discuss the intrinsic and extrinsic goals and their impact on motivation and wellness. And the relationship motivation theory is the last mini theory used in self-determination theory discusses the interaction and the relationship between people. Of course, I cannot explain these all six theories in detail, but I will give an um, explication of uh, three theories. Look here, basic psychological needs theory. This theory involves three basic psychological needs that humans seek to satisfy in order to thrive. These three needs are competence, relatedness, and autonomy. This basic psychological need theory was proposed in the context of human well-being and human health. Now see the cognitive evolution theory. It deals with feeling competent and a sense of control and leads to internalizing of external rewards and goals. Similarly, the second theory, organismic integration theory deals with a series of steps or categories shows the degree to which motivation is self-directed. Now just think about these three theories. So self-determination theory pick first component, autonomy, which is a capacity to choose to engage in certain activities. And second one is competence, which is an ability to carry out an activity and to rise to a challenge. And third is a relatedness feeling of security between learner and others like family, friends, teacher, classmates, etc. From where these three components were picked, here you can see that the competent, feeling competent and a sense of control. So competent or competence was picked from cognitive evaluation theory and the sense of control was also picked from cognitive evaluation theory. Similarly, organismic integration theory deals with motivation is self-directed. So this self-directed was picked and placed into autonomy. It simply means that it is dealing with autonomy. And as I already told you about uh, basic psychological needs theory, it deals with competence, relatedness, and autonomy in the context of human well-being and psychological health. So you have seen that how Desai and Rayan fused these six theories and proposed one theory that is known as self-determination theory. And they proposed the three components of this theory, autonomy, competence, and relatedness. These are human needs that should be fulfilled for the better personality development and motivation of employees and their well-being. In this video, I have told you that what is meta theory and exemplify the meta theory to develop a better assimilation of the concept and explain that what is self-determination theory, how Desai and Rayan proposed this theory and the subject matter of this theory is based on some other theories. Every theory whose subject matter is some other theory or some other theories is called meta theory. I hope this lecture will help you to assimilate the concept of meta theory in a better way. Thank you very much for watching this video. Are you tired of rejection of your academic scholarship? Submit your research to International Journal of Management, Economics and Social Sciences. With us, you will experience a reputable publishing platform that will guarantee high-quality peer review. Our unique mentorship program enables you to develop your research to increase the chances of publication. Our editors are eminent researchers who will provide the much-needed impetus for your academic works. Visit www.ijms.com and get your work published.